Hello Darklings, how is everyone? I was definitely gonna do this music, but I'm kind of not feeling it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm already so tired. Hello Rafa, hello Overlord, this is our super secret stream. Um, we're gonna do the other half of the Q&A. Hello Janko, hello, hello, how are you? Hello Mr. Raven, how is everyone? I'm just not feeling this music. I was like, so ready. I was like, yeah, this is good. And then I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so tired. This is like putting me to sleep. <laughs> that doesn't work. Let's see if we can do something a little more. Let's see here, let's see here. Let's see, I think I like this more. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. How's the volume? I'm gonna try that. Hello, Leonard. Hello, Bale. Hello, JD. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everyone? Yes, I can call you Bale. Your name has not changed? Oh no, why not? <laughs> hello, hello. How is everyone today? You're tired too? Oh, I'm so tired. Rafa, it was relaxing music, but I think it was just too relaxing, so it just like wasn't helping me. Thank you, yes, I am kinda rainbowy, which is why we don't have the green screen, because this wig has blue and green. And it just it, it wasn't working. So we're just doing the cloth today. You're just getting off work nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm doing good. Yay, I'm glad. I'm good. Besides being tired, like all of a sudden I'm just super tired. Kirby's, hello, how are you? I am your vampire werewolf. Oh, why thank you. Are you a vampire or a werewolf? Or are you both? I have lots of darklings that are one or the other, or both, or a tribrid, or a witch, or an overlord, or a ghost, or a skeleton. I have so many different uh, types of dwarfling. Yeah, where is this music thing? Bum, 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 bum. Janko, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting us up! I still believe! Thank you! Oh, I appreciate you so much! Thank you so, so much! If you're here, please make sure to thank Jan Jan Ugh, I can't talk. Hopefully I wake up here. Please make sure to thank Janko for your gifted sub. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. I gotta turn the volume down a little. How about that? All of a sudden, I'm just like, man, I wanna go to bed. <laughs> Love your hair. Thank you. Good evening, Chef. Hello. Vicky, hello, hello. Brandon, how are you? I still believe. Yes. You're an elf? Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Can't wait to see your Dracula Bride. Yes, I'm so excited for the Dracula Bride videos. One's going out on the main channel on Sunday, and one's going out on the ASMR dungeon on Saturday. So excited. Do you remember you bit me? I do! I do remember. I bit lots and lots of my darklings. Hello, Ira! How are you? I've been good! It was a bit of a rough start to the week, um, but it's been great. But like I said, all of a sudden, I'm just like... Hi, guys. I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay. I think I think it's because I had like a really nice, big, heavy lunch with like a lot of good food, which made me feel really good. But now I feel like after filming and like gotta set up, gotta stream, gotta like blah 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 blah. Now I'm like sitting down and I'm like chill and now I'm like ooh sleepy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sleepy. Thank you, Shab. I appreciate it. Yes, I'm a night person as well. That's probably why I'm extra sleepy, right? Because the sun's out and I'm a vampire and I'm supposed to be my coffin, but I'm not. <laughs> Hold up. I'm stuck in the ads. Oh no! <sighs> By the way, what's what was you teasing earlier? Is I was teasing Aubrey stuff. Aubrey stuff. I was filming for the finale today. So, and then just Aubrey, some Aubrey stuff. So, that's what's in my IG if you want to go see Aubrey from Freak Show. Yes, lunch. <laughs> Mr. Raven, lunch. I had a very big, heavy, iron-filled 
lunch. <laughs> now you're over here, Brandon! I'm good, thank you. How about you? A lot of emphasis on lunch, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, how are you? Uh, a night pyre. A night pyre. I like it. I am a night pyre. I'm glad you're doing well, Brandon. That's good. I'm very short on time lately, but I'll be able to stay for a bit today. That's good. Yeah, I understand. Trust me. I understand. I'm trying to, like, uh, manage things so that I get all of the stuff done. That's what I'm trying to do. A beautiful night, Pyre. Why, thank you. <laughs> I should round up extra servants for you. You know what? Maybe that is what it is. Maybe I, maybe I need more lunch. Or maybe I had too much lunch. Maybe it was too much blood, and now I'm just, like, bloodlogged, and I just need a nap. <laughs> Or maybe the person they had blood from had sleepy things. Or maybe they were sleepy. <laughs> Lunch. Have you been? I've been good, thank you. I've been working really, really hard on all the stuff. Aubrey steps, yeah. I'm glad you're excited for the Aubrey steps. So am I. So am I. Um, it also was kind of teasing some future stuff for her, like where she's gonna go story wise. So. Testing! Testing! Name change registered. Ah, oh, nice! So now it says Bale Night Mage. Nice! That's good. You look beautiful. Thank you. Have you ever seen a lunar eclipse? <gasps> I saw the solar eclipse on Monday. All right, that was a solar eclipse, not a lunar eclipse. I don't- I've never seen any solar eclipse, lunar eclipse besides that that I know of. Yeah. I'm excited for the next week's Bale Arena. Oh yeah, the Abigail movie. It does look like it could be really good. This is my first stream of yours. Ah! I'm so glad! Yeah, I noticed that you're new! Welcome, welcome, my darkling! Fabulous as always! Ah! E... Evoste? Evoste? Welcome, my darkling! How are you? Thank you, thank you! DC fan, hello! Stopping by to say hello! Oh, I hope you have a wonderful day, too! Thank you for stopping by! You're so sweet! Uh, I look forward to Victoria Picture- Me, too! The finale? Me, too! Hopefully I get everything filmed this month, and maybe a little bit of next month, and then we get it out next month. That is the plan! That's the plan! That's the plan! Plim, 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 plim. <sighs> yes. They probably took an. Oh, a nighttime sleep pill, probably. And I'm like, so sleepy now. Solo sleep, slow sleepy. Oh my god. We're gonna have a rough time today, Darklings. Good thing this is just a bonus stream and we're just hanging out. I'm not trying to really hardcore focus on stuff. Oh my gosh. Definitely so excited for the finale. Me too! I love what- Ah! I'm so glad! And thank you for buying it for her! <laughs> yes! Your daddy! Hello! Welcome my darkling! And yes, it is a wig. It is a wig. Isn't it really cool? This is probably the coolest wig that I own. It is so freaking awesome. I love this wig so much. I just don't wear that frequently because it has green and blue in it and it's hard to film in. Yeah. That's the plan! A lunar eclipse is a blood moon vampires. Ah! You know what? Actually, in my lifetime, I guess I have seen. Not in my human lifetime, but in my lifetime. I have seen one. Yes, yes, yes. Abigail, yeah. I like all your darkly themed ASMR. Thank you. You did a good job. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm glad you're here, too. That's very cyberpunk. It is very cyberpunk. I'm in kind of cyberpunky mood, for sure. My favorite food... Because they're... Because I... You're antisocial, so you're trying to work on your socials? That's good. So cool. <laughs> Would accept my honest opinion about it? Sure, whatever you want to say. I mean, just don't say anything like super disgusting or nasty or like really crude or anything because you'll just get banned. <laughs> I saw your IG story and oh my god, Aubrey's back! Yes! Aubrey! 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 I'm glad you like my hair! Yeah, some eclipse on March 25th sometime full totality in the US. Aha! I wonder if it's going to be anywhere near me or not. That's very interesting. Very cool wig. Lovely different colors. Thank you! I appreciate it. I was just about to say that. Very cyberpunky. Agreed. I didn't know it was for Aubrey. I'm happy it is. Yes! It was for Aubrey! I'm not sure. I couldn't remember when I was filming today if I did put on the, um, if I put on the Amazon wishlist that it was for her or not. Because I couldn't remember if I was trying to keep it a surprise or not. Um, until I did it. But obviously the timeline for things got so fucked up, so. It was like an extra, extra long surprise! <laughs> but yeah. Oh my stars. <laughs> so excited for Aubrey's stuff. So excited! Um, ooh, we didn't buy it from your wish- We didn't? Okay, see? Well, Ira, you already know. 
as soon as a couple months go by, most of the time my brain forgets everything. <laughs> it's like, and goodbye bye. Good bye bye. Unless it's like something very, very, very specific that like was very like poignant in my mind. It's like, oh I got this cool thing! Ah. Uh, uh, got it from somewhere. I just remember we were planning things and then the surgery like screwed everything up. But yeah. I do know that was last year. Hello, Crazy Demon Dragon, how are you? Silk is doing great, thank you for asking. That's super sweet of you. That's super sweet of you. I know that the, you know why I got confused? Because there was one on my wish list, and I think what happened is the seller stopped selling it, and then I think we went and got it from somewhere else that I could find it from. I think that's what happened, which is why I'm flipping it, and I was confused. I think that's what it is. Because I think we got the black set off of my wish list, unless that one also we couldn't get. I can't remember. Any dark themed cyberpunk games in the works, or is that? Who? It's not a secret. However, so we have like stuff going on, right? Whoop! As I hit buttons, um, you have to go. Okay, bye. Nine seal. Take care. Um, just the brain screwy things. I know the brain does this. I finally escaped from the ads. Yay! <laughs> um, so we're doing. We're, I'm trying to finish Freak Show and Lost Boys right now. That's like where we are, and there's gonna be a couple little like random videos in between there. Then we're doing uh, the Brides of Dracula, and then we're doing the Mummy content. This is not like a huge secret, it's just only been like live stream people know this because I did tell everybody that we're going to be doing a mummy arc, as in the mummy movie with Brendan Fraser, like that mummy arc. Um, we're doing Eevee content, so we're doing that, right? Um, and then the plan after that is a bunch of cyberpunk stuff, just like so much cyberpunk stuff, but this is like, what month are we in? April. That's probably going to be June, July, June, July, and we're going to start doing all the cyberpunk arc stuff, which is Victoria, hmm, oh, Vicky, actually, Vicky Sizemore in the future, in the cyberpunk future, and I'm finally going to explain all of that, and we're going to get two new characters with that, and then in between there, there's a brand new character that I've been teasing since last year and just haven't been able to do anything with yet. Um, I bought her stuff last year, so she's going to be, like, in there somewhere so like that's the current plan and then after the cyberpunk stuff I think that's when we're going to be doing um Jareth uh stuff uh Jareth labyrinth stuff so I think that's what we have going on a couple of random things are going to be in between because some movies are coming out and I want to do content with them as well because like the crow is coming and I want to do more crow content because I did that cosplay a long time ago um, I want to do some Borderlands stuff. We're already going to do Lydia for Beetlejuice, but that's going to be like in September, I think. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I've, I have so much freaking stuff and I've been planning out like month by month by month and I'm out for like a couple months, but like I have an idea of pretty much what we're doing the whole year. I have so much cosplay and so much stuff planned. So yeah. Last one there's Mario's almost like the, oh, Michael Jackson fell in video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the poster check. Thank you for the poster check. That's right, they removed, yeah, the vintage lingerie, so we bought that from what Katie did. Yes, that's right. So that's why I got confused. Is Silk going to say hi? Uh, Silk actually is back down in hell right now. Yeah. You can do this. Ah, oh, thank you, I'm trying. Nice hair. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, is it your name Thies? Thies say? Do you say so? If you plan to film, remember, don't work too hard. Ha, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Dracula. So we're going to do the Brides of Dracula, yeah. Um, I swear we're going to have to create a chronological time order. We really are, though. So, like, for all the series that connect and everything, we really, really, really do have to create... I have to create some sort of timeline so things don't get so confusing and that you could, like, visually see stuff. But I think it'll be better... I can do that after all the cyber, like the initial cyberpunk stuff comes out so that we can like make things like line up and stuff. And we're also getting um, Silk Origins. Yes. Yeah. Chibi Eevee. Chibi Eevee. <laughs> Chibi Eevee. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Busy and funny. It's going to be awesome and crazy. The wig would be awesome for futuristic look for a vampire clip. Right? I agree with that. I really do think this is like a really cool Cleopatra. Um, I probably will be utilizing this for the cyberpunk stuff for sure. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what I have exactly planned. Yeah. How's Silk and Spike? Silk and Spike are great. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the hydrate. I need it. 
I need it. Working on my reply about, ooh, oh yes, okay. I thought about some really good stuff. I hope you like what it, yes. So we're also gonna getting, we're also gonna be getting more Office of Hell stuff, which will probably be July, because my customs queue is all the way to the end of June right now. Um, so probably the July for that. We're also, I was talking to JT about doing more of the Vampire Girlfriend series, which I'm not sure when he's gonna order, so that could be July or August. Yeah, Silk Origins! Yes! Silk Origins! Take my money! Silk Origins! <laughs> yes, we're getting Silk Origins stuff. I'm so excited. You're a crazy creative respect. Thank you! I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you, Bit Container. Hello, Justin. How are you? Happy Friday! Yes, this is why I'm really glad to do this stream, too, because I know that besides, like, the questions, the Slido questions, you guys have so many questions about, like, content and things that are going on. So, yeah. This is very important. All the, we must discuss all the thingies because there's so much coming. I just, I just want to keep going on it all. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to Tier Three Ira. Ah, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. Is it how many months is it? Let me see here. Thirty-two month streak. 32 month string. Thank you so much for subbing. Yeah, so much on the way. Seriously, I am working my hardest to plan everything, get everything done, like get customs done, get content out, like in a like timely manner, and, like trying to keep on everything consistently. It's a lot. It's a fucking lot. It really is. Thank you for the posture check. It is so insane. Trust me, if you guys saw my calendars, you'd be like, Vicky, what are you doing? <laughs> so much. But and there's other stuff in between there too but we'll get there i it seems like i'm following my plan pretty well so we're getting there i wanted to guess if you have any new tats planned ah that's a great question i did and now i no longer do uh so that's like some health stuff um update like on that so um is this your main job this is my main job this is my job yes content creation acting creating customs asmr like all of this is my main job um, so is, uh, streaming. Just streaming doesn't make me as much revenue, um, as other stuff, but yes. So, back to the tattoo question. Um, I was gonna start working back on the sleeve because of, like, COVID and stuff. It got, like, super delayed. But there's, like, a couple things going on with that. So, I still have some, like, health issues and like some severe allergy things going on and it doesn't make sense right now unfortunately to keep going with the tattoos because when I was tattooed in the past it would make certain organs um, have problems like it would raise my liver enzymes and um, my kidneys like creatinine and um, what else? There was another uh, pancreas enzymes, and it would make my thyroid and my lymph nodes like swell and stuff. So I'm already having like a hard enough issue after surgery last year um, that I just want to keep going on like a healing path, and I don't want to kind of like fuck things up again. So we're just gonna hold off on the tattoos for now. It might be forever. Um, just because also my body is having like an insane issue with chemicals way more than it ever had because of surgery um, because they use stitching on me that I was severely allergic to and I had the worst allergic reaction of like my entire life so um, I'm concerned that the chemicals and dyes that are in tattoo ink like my body wouldn't be able to tolerate now and then I would just have a horrible reaction and then it would just be like hives and like scarring and like oh my god so we're just gonna hold off on the tattoos for a little bit. Yeah. Across the street for attention, down the road for results! Oh no! Oh god! I was just reading it. What? 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 what, what? No! Oh my god! Horrible things! Horrible things! No, no, no! Bye bye, bye bye! No. Oh my god. Uh, are you okay? Oh, is that common? I'm getting my first set. It's not common. I have 
serious health issues um, because I I had like car accident, back surgery, allergic stuff. It's just like it's this big giant thing that's been going on for like 14 years. Um, a lot of stuff has gotten significantly better, um, but I had surgery last year for a fibroid to remove a fibroid that was like this big from my body. It's something that grows on females' uteruses, um, but it's not supposed to. So I had that removed and then like, it just kind of spiraled since last summer and I'm just having more issues than I was before, different issues allergy wise, and it's just not great. So you should be fine getting a tattoo, hopefully, if you don't have a lot of <clears throat> health issues and uh, allergies. It's just a me thing. What are you getting by the way? Ah, I'd love to do Morticia, yeah, for sure. Of course, you're welcome for the birthday message. Yeah. Um, can you do another Lost Boys video? Make a Michael Jackson thriller. Maybe in the future, that'd be fun. I like the Michael Jackson thriller video. I'd love to do just a version of that. But oh, the male uterus! Well, hopefully, I don't think fibroids grow in males, which is good, because trust me, you don't want them. That was what was causing a lot of my problems for the last couple years, so you don't want that. <laughs> Thank you, Evoste. I appreciate that. Wise choice. Plus, tattoos can wait a while. Exactly. Like, tattoos can wait a while. I also don't really have the money for that right now. I'm saving to move. Um, so, all my money is going to that. Like, all my money is going to saving to move. So, it just doesn't make sense right now. Yeah. More time to plan and set aside money. Exactly. Yeah. It's just better health-wise. If I'm doing better with things, I don't want to, like, start going backwards. It's just not fun. Yeah. The fuck yeah, bye bye troll. Wait with you! What would be so scary for your si Yeah, exactly. It would be so scary. I don't need bad stuff. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I need to take a look at that calendar. I want to peek at all the plans! Uh-uh. You can't know all the plans. Uh-uh. I see your candle. I'll be like, Vicky, goddamn genius! Hail the queen! Oh, you're so awesome. JT, hello, how are you? Oh, you're on a 15 year at work. Nice. You're awesome. Ah, thank you, Crazy Demon Dragon. I appreciate that. I don't know what the heck. You know, work like crazy. I do work like crazy. I really do. Are you going to do Silk or Dark Origins? Ah, both. That is a good question. Um, it's going to be Silk and Dark Silk Origins. Um, you guys are going to get kind of a little bit of something about that, kind of soon-ish. And then you'll get like a big full Origins. Yeah, definitely. No push on yourself. Yeah, exactly. They can wait a while. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Let's peek. <peaks>. No. <laughs> I'm, I tell you guys, I feel like a really good amount, though. Hello, Abe. How are you, my darkling? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. They're still chasing me. Oh, no. All the ads. In October, which is Halloween, can you please do horror is summer video for me? I will do be. Uh, I will do be. I will. I will do be. <laughs> I will be doing stuff for Halloween. There will be Halloween content. As I was already saying, I'm definitely doing Lydia content September. That's when Beetlejuice Beetlejuice or Beetlejuice 2 is going to be coming out. So I will be doing Lydia content then, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start planning all my Halloween plans. We will be doing Halloween. Ha blah, 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 I can't. God, I'm too tired. We will be doing Halloween stuff. Also, we're getting another Saw movie this year, so I think I'm gonna do more Jigsaw content for you guys. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be Silk being um, Jigsaw or if I'm gonna do more like realistic Jigsaw. Like I did that one time we did like an interactive stream. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Is there gonna be more games? Yes, there's gonna be so more games. I, I actually already have some uh, games bought and downloaded after DDLC. Yes, and we will be back to doing that next Tuesday. I just wanted to finish this, which we're not even doing. I need to get back to this. We're gonna do this. Hello Lloyd, how are you? My back is actually feeling great. Thank you for asking. I did all my PT exercises yesterday. Even though I finished PT and it was cleared, I still do all my PT stuff to keep the strength going. A doobie, a doobie, 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 doobie. <laughs> actually Saw 11 is coming out. In oh, is it 2025? It got delayed? Oh, interesting. Maybe we won't be doing Saw stuff this year. Maybe we will. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, stuff gets changed. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Um, the calendar does change. Stuff does like get moved as we're doing things. So um, sometimes I have stuff planned for like a month, but like other stuff will happen or whatever, and then it gets like pushed. Cause like um, I did have nifty stuff planned 
or I didn't have nifty stuff planned and then I threw nifty in so yeah ah thank you Ira I wonder why it's not coming up we didn't get a notification or like anything but thank you oh my gosh I always love this wig thank you and thank you for saying you look gorgeous ah, you're so sweet thank you thank you ah so many biddies! I don't know why we're not getting a notification because it gave us the other notification earlier. Thank you for, uh, you were thinking about posting that, um, Overlord. Oh no, I don't know why we don't get notification. It's so weird because we got notifications for the subbies. No Matt. Well, oh, either, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. We know Streamlabs doesn't always like to work. Thank you so much! Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew wearing this wig today was the right thing to do. <laughs> Twitch does be glitchy. Yes, the crow and saw 11 got the- wait, the crow is getting delayed too? It's no longer coming out? I thought it was coming out like next month. Or is it June? Maybe it's June. I think it's June. I think it's June. Remember when you did tarot with it? Yes! Yes, I did. Uh, that's the other thing. We're going to be getting some freak show streams coming. I'm very excited. I just saw an IG a video about Saw and they released and I was like, no! You know what? If it's gonna be better, then that's what that's what matters. And then it, you know, love your positivity. Thank you! Oh, I'm so glad. Yes! I like I like having infectious positive energy. Vicky, is it true the vampires can't swim or go Oh that's not true. I definitely swim a lot and go near running water. That one's not true. Wait, what? The new crow is getting delayed too? Yeah, I don't know. I need to check that. You haven't done Toronto over- Yes! We will be getting a Verona Tarot stream coming very soon. Yes, especially now that you guys know that she's not the one that took Aubrey. That has been a huge problem because I kept on wanting to stream with her, but then like all of you were so mad at her. Which was crazy to me because I was like, oh! Oh no! She didn't do it, but I can't tell them that she didn't do anything. And then you guys were really mad, and you didn't want to do a tarot stream with her anymore. And I was just like, ah, <laughs> ah. So look who's behind this. You know what? She probably is. Just don't get stung by a jellyfish. Ah, yes. I'd, I'd rather not get stung by a jellyfish again. That would be good. It's probably because of the Joker tattoo problem or something. Oh, maybe. It could be. I need to look into that. Verona's legendary tarot stream, it's cursed! I knew she didn't do anything! True, you knew! Oh, it did update! You're right! That's so weird! We didn't get a notification and it's- I don't know. That's so strange. So strange. It's an intense legendary tarot stream. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, so we definitely will. Oh yeah, I remember that, yeah. Vicky, did you see the trailer about the vampire? I did, and I feel like it could be a good movie. It might not be, but I feel like it could be. There's a new, new Tarot movie coming? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that. Alright, so let's get to the questions. You guys can still ask me questions in the, um, in the chat, though. Because this, this isn't open anymore. But there's a lot of questions. I think we did. Uh, actually, maybe we're, not as, oh, maybe we're not as bad as I thought we did. Maybe we had less to answer than I thought. Maybe. Now that Verona is back, now we don't have to worry about... True, this is true. And now that you know that she's not the one that took Aubrey. I go to see a vampire movie, I'll wear my Michael Jackson thriller jacket. Ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That was one of the coolest things when I was a kid, was the Michael Jackson thriller video. That was one of my favorite things. It was just so cool, and I always loved the song. I learned a portion of the dance, because my friends and I were supposed to do the dance for um, a talent show in high school. But then like, I was the only one out of the, was it four or five of us that actually learned the por portion of the dance and they all backed out. So then nobody did nothing. <laughs> I took daily reviews for Abigail. They said they really liked it. It was pretty good reviews. Okay. I am excited to see. This is I don't remember the dance anymore. <laughs> Let's try again! <laughs> yes, we're gonna try to do the Verona Tarot stream. We will. <laughs> Vampire Abigail movie is coming and I can't- You're excited to see it too? I- I'm excited to see if it's good or not. I really am. I really am. Alright, let's start with our questions. Our questions. Are you afraid of the dark? <gasps> I'm not afraid of the dark, but I am kind of afraid of ghosties. 
they kind of terrify me a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I love your Michael Jackson dance and singing voice. Why, thank you! We are gonna get some more karaoke coming as well. Um, even though Ella is the one that took Aubrey, hopefully you guys won't all be mad at her if she comes and do, does karaoke with you guys. <laughs> ah! You guys know that you can't ask questions! <laughs> Thank you, Ira! Again, it's not working. I don't know why. Wait, that way. I don't know why it's not working, but thank you. You noticed Silk. Did you notice Silk's outfit? I was waiting for you to notice Silk's outfit. Finally had Silk wear the outfit that you got for her. I am finally getting around to everything. I'm trying really, really hard. I am trying really hard to fit in everything and do all the things that I've been wanting to do and that I've gotten things for and that other people have gotten me things for. I'm trying so hard to schedule it all in and just actually do it and get it all done and be consistent. Like this is the best I've ever been since I've been like a content creator. So and I'm okay like life health balance wise I'm trying um, sometimes better sometimes not better but I am better. I was waiting. I was hoping it would pop up. It didn't. But thank you so much. Twitch confirmed broken. I guess so. Twitch broken like glass. Silk's legend. Wait for a dairy outfit. Ah, thank you so much. I remember the, the biddies. Thank you. Ah, so many biddies. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It really helps me still continue to do what I do and to work on things and stream. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you. Thank you. It looks so sexy outfit. Thank you. I watched your my girlfriend vampire roleplay today. Ah, thanks. When you bit me, did you put in a coffin? What? Do you want to go in? You, you could sleep in a coffin if you'd like to. Yes, her, her, her true form is revealed! And on the wish, on my Amazon wish list are like actual cat paws. Um, if you, if someone wants to get them for her. <laughs> Thank you for the hype! The crow, August 23rd this year and saw, really? Oh my God, thank you for letting me know. Oh shoot, okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna have to put a little tab on here for that. Um, to look at that later because um, that actually will change my content then uh, and my calendar because I was going to do Erica Draven stuff and if it's not coming out in June anymore we will wait and we'll push that back to when the movie is coming out. So thank you, thank you. That's going to make a big difference. <sighs> 3000 Dracula? I have never seen that. Do you like any Dracula movies or shows? Um, that's a good question. Does Transylvania count? I like that. I like a lot of stuff with Dracula in it. I love Vampire in Brooklyn. I like Bram Stoker's Dracula. I don't know, are there Dracula series? So Vicky, how do you like your steak? Rare, pine, medium rare, cedar medium well ash or well done oak interesting i like my medium rare so i guess cedar which i do love the smell of cedar chips i really do we're uh, we're doing seasonal content we are so like along with the seasons i'm trying to do content along with like other projects that i enjoy like other movies and um games and like stuff that are coming out like i'm trying to like do stuff with it when another can you do Catwoman? At some point, I do want to do Catwoman. The Darklings know that I love Catwoman. I also did cosplay Poison Ivy, but we never really did any content, so I want to do that at some point too. But those things are definitely not at the front of what's going on right now. Those are definitely going to be pushed way back. Um, there's just so many other things. But I want to do Catwoman really bad. There's a Dracula Ministry miniseries that came out. Oh, wait! I think I saw that. That was actually really good. I think I saw that. It was like a three piece thing or something like that. That was very good. Have you ever seen Blackula, a 1970s black man? I don't think so. No, not steak. Steak! Oh, now I'm less confused. <laughs> I like no steak. Thank you. <laughs> Some movie where Will Roll fought a vampire Elizabeth Bathory. Oh, interesting. Seasonal content. Ooh, I love this idea. Yes. I do love Bram Stoker's Dracula. I have a film called John Carpenter's Vampires on DVD and the flying stunts are fantastic. I think I saw pieces of that and stuff when I was younger. Yeah. Alright, let's get to these Slido questions here. 
Hello from Australia. The metallic things are such an iconic look for your videos. Oh, that's so sweet. How did you come across them? Mm, that was so sweet. Um, I actually specifically sought these out in 2019. I wanted metallic things. And then I found Ill Grills. I L L underscore G R I L L Z. Um, and then I ordered from him and they are custom. And I've had them ever since. So it's a good question. Thank you for the hydrate. But John Carpenter made Dracula. I think there was um, John Carpenter Dracula stuff. I vaguely remember this from when I was like younger. I think I know how, um, the My Baby Sinners of Vampire. I think I've seen this, but I haven't watched it. Yeah. I'm excited. You're finally getting to everything on your list. You're welcome. Yes! I, I really do appreciate the support so much, and I am also very excited and happy that I'm getting to all the things. Um, I have so many series I really want to do, and other, like, I would say mini series. Um, cause like Freak Show is like a really, really big series, right? Uh, Vampire Girlfriend series is really big. Uh, Office of Hell is gonna be big. Like, I feel like uh, uh, the mini series is gonna be like The Mummy, how we did like Lost Boys. There's one more episode of Lost Boys coming out and then it's kind of done for there. It's open-ended so I can do some more. Cause I know that you guys are gonna want to see stuff. But, um, you guys also want Lele Origins. Like, there's just so much, you know? Yeah. Just so much. And I heard a rumor that Aubrey is getting a set. She is! Yes. Or a set of, of fangs? Or do you mean like a set, like a photo set? Cause she's not getting a set of fangs. Photo set, yes. Ah, zombie! Zombies! Uh, salamanders is salamander. Zombie salamander. Hello, how are you? And thank you for coming in and welcome. And thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome. And thank you for coming in and thanking Janko. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I, I'm glad I'm getting to everything too. Is that true? She is getting a photo set. Yes. She is getting a photo set. Yes. A photo set. A photo set and some videos. Yep, 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 yep. I'm so excited. Um, her photo set and videos will be coming out um, about the same time as the finale the, for Freak Show. So that'll be in like, um, I want to say a month and a half, two months. I'm trying. There's a lot of characters that need to be filmed for the finale. I, at first I thought the finale was going to have all of the characters, but it actually has everyone except two. Um, Tessa will not be in the finale, and um, Marguerite will not be in the finale. And then we have the brand new character. Yeah. Aubrey oh, photo set! Yeah! Do you, uh, have you ever seen John Carpenter's Vampires? I think so, that's what we were talking about. I think I did when I was younger. Uh, John Carpenter's Vampires was late 90s, had James Woods as lead vampire hunter, and one of the Baldwins was in it. Yeah, I think I saw this when I was younger, but I barely remember it. Do you see Chris Brown video wall to wall? I don't think so. I listen to a lot of music, and I have listened to a lot of music throughout my lifetime, but I haven't watched a lot of music videos. So I know a lot of music and a lot of songs, and I just haven't seen the videos for them. So if I heard the song, maybe I'd know it, but I definitely haven't seen that video. The Lost Boys movie was amazing. Ah, agreed. The bike chase scene was brilliant with the, the song Lost in the Shadows. Agreed! I loved it so much. Ah, I love it. It's just so good. I may or may not have a crush on Aubrey. Don't tell her. <gasps> I won't tell her. <laughs> Your smile brings our attention. Oh, thank you. Aubrey's photo set. Oh my, I am tough. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my stars. <laughs> yes. I love you too, Spirit Wolf. Hello, how are you? <laughs> No Tessa in finale? Hmm. I know it's probably a huge chore putting on her beard. That sucks she won't be there, but I'm glad you'll have an easier time. So she was never supposed to be in the finale um, because she like transformed and she was still resting. She was never supposed to be in the finale. Neither was Marguerite. Um, just because Marguerite kind of like hopped in, told everybody what was going on, and then like hopped out. Um, they just were never going to be in the finale to begin with. Um, and then when I was going through the script to try to make sure it's kind of condensed, has all the important information, and I added some stuff in, because this is the finale, to make it work, it just didn't make sense to like try to jam the two of them in the finale, um, because it was already kind of long as it is. So I just figured we're just going to do the finale, the way I wanted to with a little bit of extra information and then we'll just keep going and start on season two 
and then we can have all the other characters that everybody loves. Because I know people really do like Tessa, so. But it, it also was a nice, cool thing. Um, like you just said, to be able to save some time because of the beard and everything, it does take a lot of time, and I am trying to get the finale done. So it did kind of work out nicely. And also, Marguerite has the most face makeup, so that also kind of worked out, too. Yeah. Um, oh, my stars. I'm going good. Yay! I'm so glad, Spirit Wolf. I'm so glad. Uh, Chris Brown's video, Wall of the Wall of the Vampire. Oh, is it really? Maybe I have seen it. I don't know. It just doesn't sound familiar. I have to look it up. I have a crush on Cecilia. Do you know? Oh, okay. Glad you're not cutting out. Yeah, I'm not... I didn't cut her out. I didn't cut anyone out. Um, I just condensed things down and made it make sense. I have a crush on Silk. I hope she doesn't find out. I will cut her. <laughs> yes. Do it the way you want. Yes, exactly. Have you ever seen Wesley Snipes? Yes, I love Blade. I love Blade. I definitely want to do Blade content in the future as well. Also, Underworld content. And Castlevania content. Um, those are like the big vampire stuff I really want to do. Oh, and Interview with a Vampire content. I think out of all those, Underworld and Interview with a Vampire are probably going to come up first, for sure. <clears throat> You're right. Vicky Tessa can't be in the family because she did transform and she did uh, look so cool. Yeah! I'm glad you thought she looked so cool. And cute with her normal form. Yeah, so she was, like, exhausted from transforming. Um, so, yeah, she wasn't supposed to be in the finale. But also, it wasn't supposed to take this many years to do the whole first season anyways. So, uh, what do you think of the Stephen King movie, Christine? A bit of a... I didn't like it as a kid. I saw it, and I was not a fan. That's the one with the, the car, right? It wasn't as bad as some of the other ones I saw as a kid, though. Some of them were so bad. <laughs> tell her, and I bite you! Okay, I won't tell her. <laughs> Tessa will be relaxing and resting not bad. Yeah, exactly. So Tessa will be relaxing. Seriously, don't tell her, okay? I won't tell her. <laughs> um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's just hope she sleeps well and feel better from her trip. Yes, exactly. She'll she'll rest. You have a crush on Cecilia, too. Um, the most haunting video that I, will, I have ever seen was ever since Wake Me Up Aside. It's really good. In it, Amy Lee sleepwalks um, outside of the windowsill of a tall building and falls. Yes. So that music video I actually have seen. I saw that as a kid. And I really like it. Like, a lot, a lot. So good. Sure, you won't bite me. <laughs> Janko, thank you, thank you for redeeming that. No one told me I have a crush on Cecilia. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Jenko, for redeeming this. <laughs> let's see. Let's make sure it's working before I do it. Okay. Our Hama wounds Samalo. Samalo wounds Nerbler does up behind or forgotten. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, the cyberpunk music. Now, hold on. You can't have a crush on her, too. You can have a crush on as many of my characters as you want. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I gotta be the one that has the crush. So silly. Alright, back to the Slido questions. How would you describe the connection with your viewers and do you feel the community support? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would describe the connection with my Darklings as like a family. Because I always try to create a very safe and welcoming space for you guys to be yourself and feel comfortable expressing yourself and expressing your interests um, in a safe, positive way. Uh, so I would say that we are connected on a like emotionally safe level, if that makes sense. And of course, uh, how do I feel the community support? I feel the support just by you guys showing up to stream by commenting on my videos, commenting on like any of my posts, um, putting up with my silly nonsense and like commenting on that as well. <laughs> or agreeing with me when I'm like, hey, this looks like silk. And you're like, yeah, it does. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, being in the Discord, um, all stuff like that. So I feel so much support from all of you all the time. And I really, really do appreciate it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. 
Another one of my favorite songs from The Lost Boys are People Are Strange, Still Believe, Power Play, Cry Little Sister, and the aerial flying sequence above the clouds. Yeah, there's a lot of really, really, really good um, music in that movie. It's just so good. I also like the, the walk this way when they're on the beach. It's just so good. It's just so good. Good answer. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thank you for all the huggies. That's why I love you. Aw. <laughs> Don't get me started. Not only Cecilia, I also have a crush on Victoria. <gasps> me? <laughs> Hello, Clifton. How are you? Can I be the weirdo uncle? Sure. I like it. You know, I feel like that really fits for you, John. <laughs> the weirdo uncle has all the cool jokes and puns. When Amy falls in the video, I think she dies. Legend says that if you fall in your dream, it pretends. That's, I feel like, yeah, if you actually die in your uh, like dreams, supposedly it affects like your life, depending on things. So yeah. John Carpenter Vampires is one of the best vampire movies I've ever seen. Okay, I guess I need to look this up because I would, like, I'm not sure if I saw this. Maybe I haven't seen this. I s no, I did. I saw this as a kid, but you know what? I need to rewatch it because I don't remember it. So yeah, thank you for talking about it, Darklings, because now it's going to go on my watch list. <laughs> yes. Vicky, what made you decide to make your character vampire? Uh, because I've been a vampire my whole life. <laughs> I really have been a vampire my whole life. I always love vampires. I've always been obsessed with vampires, um, especially since I was like seven, I would say. I was a vampire for like a bazillion years in a row um, for Halloween. There's so many pictures of little me dressed as a vampire and then it just kept perpetuating itself where I would embody, pretend to be a vampire, not like in public or anything, um, but a lot of my arts revolved around vampires. I love vampire music and like movies and everything. So I just always felt like I was a vampire, always, even my friends would like call me that. Um, so it just is who I am, and it always has been that way. Yeah. I've fallen in so many of my dreams. I, I do remember falling in some of my dreams as well. Not falling to my death, but definitely falling. I have a crush on- Oh, it's Cecilia! Don't tell Victoria! Okay. <laughs> you create so much content for us, so the best of your abilities, and I always try your best to create a safe space for us, and it goes unnoticed. I, I think we appreciate you so, so much, and I'm truly grateful you're here with us. Thanks. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. I think I feel like a lot of you notice, and it really means a lot to me. It really does. I don't know if everyone notices. I don't know if everyone knows how hard it is to get out as much content as I do, and how hard it is being a content creator nowadays, because I feel like doing a really good video would take months to make, right? But now everything is so like quick and fast and oversaturated that... Like, I have to create things, like, every week. Like, you have to create videos, like, in a very short period of time. And then people are like, oh, cool, okay, what's the next one? You know, I feel like it's very different now. Um, and I really do work my hardest and my best. I really do feel like a lot of my dark is going to realize that and really do appreciate it, though. I feel like maybe newer people might not realize, but I feel like you guys do. And that means a lot to me. And it keeps me going. Yeah. <laughs> Vampire for Halloween World Champion! I don't know what that means, but yes. <laughs> oh, you mean like because I was a vampire for Halloween so many years? Yes! I like this. <laughs> I wish I could have silk. Aww! Instant blood bag! Mmm, yum yum. I just stick a straw. <laughs> Dang it, I meant notice. No, no, no! I. I know I agree with you like saying it goes unnoticed like I feel like to the average eye but to like all my close darklings I feel like you guys notice and it means a lot yeah it's about the stupid brains no 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 you're fine I I agree with what you said yeah I agree with your sentiment I was just saying that I I want to appreciate the darklings that do notice that's all all right back to the Slido. Slido. as a vampire you prefer your victims to be willing or unwilling that is a fabulous question um, I feel like as like myself, I really want willing, always want willing. Consent is extremely important. I feel like for some of the characters, it's unwilling because it's like a vampire trope and just be like, ah, oh, and I'm going to feed on you now. Aha! But realistically, like I want consent. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you think CM Punk will be physically medically cleared to compete at WrestleMania 40 and be added to the World Heavyweight Championship match? 
Oh, shoot. I have no idea. Darklings know that I, unfortunately, have not been able to follow um, wrestling stuff for a while now. And every time I try to watch it, it just doesn't have that same feel to me as, like, when I was a kid. I just can't enjoy it as much. I can't get into it as much. And I don't know if it's partially I don't enjoy the characters that are really on there anymore. I like some of them, but a lot of them I'm just kind of, like, annoyed or just, like, eh. So I think that's part of it. CM Punk is amazing. He is from Chicago, like me. Let's say yes. <laughs> Let's say yes. Let's. Ah, oh no! I highlighted all the thingies. Now get back at. <laughs> Too many highlighties. There we go. <laughs> I noticed, and you have helped me and so many others in so many ways. I'm so glad. That's really what I want to do. I want to help others feel relaxed, like with my content specifically, like feel relaxed and comforted, enjoy, feel excitement. I also want to feel, make people feel safe um, in the environment and to be themselves, so I'm happy. I also have had a lot of people, like a lot of Darklings tell me that I've helped them with anxiety and depression and stuff and that really means a lot to me and like my video perked up their day because I'm also someone that suffers from anxiety and depression and there are things and people that do things and create content that always like, you know, I was having a bad day but then I watched like so and so's video and like man, that made my, better, my day so much better. So like I love being that for someone else and that makes me very happy. But I like being an inspiration for people too, because I've had other people tell me, it's like, oh yeah, you did this character, so like it inspired me to do this, and I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, totally understandable. The same here. We understand. Thank you, thank you. Female vampire, Beetlejuice, maybe. At some point. I need to do Lydia content. But maybe Beetlejuice. I do love Beetlejuice. I love that idea. It is a really good idea. It really is. Yeah. Um, if... Oh, I read that. You are really hardworking. That's obvious. I just hope you are not burning yourself too intensively. I appreciate that very much, um, Bit Container. I try really hard not to, and I have in the past, and there are times where I do get burned out. Um, I'm trying to make it less frequent to the point to where I'm not doing it, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm just someone who's very... Oh, how do I put it? I'm just someone who does that initially. Unfortunately, I've done that since I was a child, and I'm just trying really hard not to. And it's very hard. It's hard when you're just like, you're just constantly like, go, 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 go. Do, do more things, more things, more things, more things. I just push myself a little bit more. Like, I'll be fine. I'll recover. I won't die. But I'm trying really hard not to do that because I think it's really taking a toll on me and my life and like my health. So I've been working hard on that to not do that. So I appreciate that. How close do you live to garlic? I ate garlic for lunch. <laughs> if your hair was tangled and you spilled garlic on it, would you end up with garlic knots? But um, shh, yes. <laughs> we appreciate you so so much, and you are truly grateful to be in the yeah, uh, and be in the best community for all the darklings. You created so much beautiful videos for your very own content for all of us, for your favorite darklings, and for your own abilities. And always try your best to create a safe space for us. And goes. Unnoticed. Keeping you and never give up on happiness and love and all your beliefs and your incredible vamp journeys. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ever since I've been in this family, I felt more open with myself than I ever thought I would. I used to be a closed off person, keeping to myself and not interacting with others. But now that I've met you guys, new especially Vicky, I'm expressing the real me. Yay! That's awesome. I'm so glad. That makes me so happy, Overlord. I'm so glad. Hi! Hello! Mr. J! Welcome, my darkling. How are you? I don't know why we're not getting um, an alert box. Is not working. The alert box is not working for biddies, but thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate you so much. Hello! I'm so glad you were able to finally catch us, too. Yay! Random secret Friday stream. <laughs> thank you for the huggies. Thank you for the hugs. Thank you, thank you. How are you, Mr. J? <laughs> Vicky, you're the best content creator. Your videos are the best. We are glad to have an awesome creator like you. Thank you. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. Huggy, huggy, huggies. <laughs> All right. Next question. How did you go about creating your fictional characters and their personalities? Ooh, this is fun. 
I was, um, so how did I do this? I'm doing okay. I'm still at work. It's been a hectic day. I'm like, ugh, I feel you on that. I hope that you get off from work soon and that you get some rest and you're able to relax and enjoy yourself. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm super congested today. <clears throat> Uh, how did you go about creating your feature characters? Uh, so, I had this story idea based on things that I really, really liked. And this is something I've noticed, too, and I kind of have to let it go. But originally, Freak Show was supposed to be more like American Horror Story. I wanted it to be super spooky, super scary, super kind of messed up, bloody. Um, I have... A significant amount of restrictions because of YouTube, like insane amount of restrictions because of YouTube. Also, just insane amount of restrictions based on what I'm able to do physically, like ability wise, like filming in my house with my things that I have and like the production value that I do. So, the show has turned kind of more into like True Blood Vampire Diaries level, which is fine by me. That's okay. Mr. J, thank you so much for gifting two subbies. Thank you so much for the two subbies. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you were gifted a sub from Mr. J, please make sure to thank them. Yes, yes, yes. I'm glad it's one of your favorite series. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, so, um, so trying to do the show is a little bit different than how I originally planned it to be. Um, but I've always been obsessed with, like, the freak show and, like, the carnival, like, the vintage carnival and, like, the bearded lady, the tattooed woman, you know, like, um, the strong man, like, I've always been into that kind of stuff, it was super interesting to me, and I really loved the movie Vampire Assisted, which is kind of like a vampire freak show thing, uh, like, vampire circus type thing. In college, I did a bunch of circus-themed stuff and the freak show type stuff, so I just had this idea, and I thought it would be really cool to do my own series in the 1940s with like freak show and it's like oh my god this makes sense and then I can make one character like a werewolf and one character like a vampire like the va vampire is me and like the vampire like runs everything so it just kind of snowballed from there and I just got really excited and kept on like thinking of names and new characters and I would literally visualize them in my head and how they would be and then like their backstories just kind of unfolded in my mind so that's kind of how that happened it kind of just unfolded from there yeah thank you mr. J about the hair I appreciate it I know YouTube imposed a lot of restrictions that is one of the topics in my email about yeah about ooh yeah yeah there was a significant amount of restrictions um, but I've been able to figure out what I want to do while going around that I feel like I think I really appreciate and love your videos thank you Lloyd I look at them as entertainment but some see them as something evil how do you deal with such people who make these false claims? Um, I've never had anyone think that what I do is evil, so that would be new to me. Uh, I mean, if people think some of the things I do is kind of like taboo, I feel like our society makes things taboo that shouldn't be taboo to begin with, like sex and um, our own naked bodies and women's boobs and women's bodies and like, all that horrible stuff so anyone that would be like oh my god what you do is so weird and cringy and taboo would be like okay just grow up just freaking grow up we all have bodies we all have kinks we all have sexual appetites well there are people I should say there are people who are asexual I guess they wouldn't have sexual appetites but I feel like a large majority of people have sexual appetites and sexual thoughts and I think that we should be more open about these things and more accepting of these things and open to other people's thoughts and ideas and just the human body. So anyone that would think those things about what I do, I'd just be like, grow up, just grow up. Do you really have no other thing to do with your life except for to call me cringe? Okay. Have fun with your boring, basic, plain life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, and I quite enjoyed it. Aha! My favorite seasons was one in Hotel. Ooh! I loved Freak Show. 
Oh, Coven was my number one favorite, then Murder House, then Freak Show. Wait, 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 what did I say? Coven, Freak Show, Murder House, Hotel. Coven, Freak Show, Murder And then Apocalypse. Because it ties back in with Coven and um, Murder House. Yeah. That's so awesome. Thank you. I love Vampire Assistant. Oh, Mad Cupid, hello, how are you? I do love that movie. It's so good. It's so good. I had a dream about a hot female vampire, and she was so beautiful, sexy, and hot. She was wearing Black Victoria's Secret. Oh. So, black faux pants and knee-high boots, and that sounds like fun. And which version of Sex in the City would be called Hex in the City? I do love that. That would be fun. What happens when a vampire like yourself becomes invulnerable to the sun? There are darklings um, and vampires that are not... Um, daywalkers and they can burn and die definitely well she'll you love and support thank you have one of your favorite creators ah thank you Brandon I appreciate it we appreciate you so so much we love a heart you're the glue that holds the family together ah, overcome be COVID through this yes I beat all the things you're truly the best ever thank you so much I really appreciate that I need to read all the books since they didn't make any more movies. I know I haven't read the books either I haven't read the books either. I really wish they would have made more movies. It always made me so sad. It's been great still. Yeah! Yeah, I agree. Thank you. I also think Freak Show's still been good, even though we've had some restrictions on stuff. Yeah, America's full of prudes. Ah, uh, agreed. And it's to each their own, like, you want to be that way. Cool, but don't, like, put that on me. <laughs> I can still be the way I want to be. <laughs> Vicky! Hi. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Today's society has changed for the worse. Ah, uh, agreed. In more ways than one. Anyone that thinks what you do is evil or radical are radical religious fanatics and need to stay on their own lane. Ah, uh, agreed. Um, religious psychosis is a real thing. And like, I feel like anyone that comes at me saying negative things needs to look inward first. Um, why are you saying those things? Why do you feel that you need to say those things? No. Yeah. Facts. Agreed. Vicky for president! <laughs> so for vice president, oh, this would be amazing. Yes, please. <laughs> if they don't like your content, just don't watch. Exactly. <laughs> they shouldn't try and blacklist you. Agreed. I have had people get really mad about, um, Jonathan, hello, how are you? And good morning to you. I've had people get really mad about Tessa for no reason, just because she has a beard. Um, the bearded lady, bearded woman has been like a character concept for a long time and a lot of things because they were a real thing. Like back in the day, there was the bearded woman, bearded lady. And like people try to make it this big trans thing and it's just like, oh, I see her Adam's apple. And it's like, okay, I mean, if I did have an Adam's apple and I was trans, like, okay, cool. But also I am a female playing a female character that happens to have a beard. And it's the reason I created her in the first place because she's beautiful, even though she has a beard and she loves life and is nice to everyone, even though she has a beard, like, and is treated like crap. That is the point of that character, but people like to make it a trans thing, and I just did not see that coming. But also, I created all this stuff before all the trans hate started to begin with, and I'm, I am full-on trans supporter, like, trans rights, yes, like, so if you're coming at my character because you think they're trans, you're saying negative things, I don't want that hate on my stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Okay, Vicky, Midori is what um, is called a Yandir in Japan. You are a traditional vampire. Aren't both, aren't both of you are vampires? There's lots of different vampire lore out there. Some stuff is real and some stuff's not. Hi ma'am, Sippy Yumpy. Simp, I can't talk. Simp Uppy. Welcome my darkling, how are you? Hello, hello. I recently came out. Oh wait, sorry, I missed some stuff. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Uh, being honest about sexuality and in general is hugely important. Agreed. Because that's also, we need to have communication with our, our, our partners. And I feel like that's something that's lacking severely just because we don't have communication um, with our family members, with our friends, with society, with the world, with ourselves. I recently came out to Mrs. Cupid a month ago. I told her I'm pansexual, but I have no intentions of leaving her. And if she became a man, I would stay with her. And she was very understanding and supportive. Ah! That's awesome! I'm so, so happy that your partner is understanding and supportive. That is fantastic. That always makes me so happy. I'm also glad that you felt comfortable enough to come up to her. That's fantastic. Happy, happy coming out. Good for you. Vote Vicky and Silk! Yes. <laughs> Vote us. Being ashamed or repressed about fundamental desires is crazy. Agreed. Those people are nuts. Leave Tessa alone. Exactly. Tessa, Tessa doesn't need it. Tessa's my favorite character. Ah! I'm so glad that Tessa's your favorite character. And that's the thing too. I feel like a lot of people really like Tessa. 
I I also love Tessa dearly because it is a portion of myself. It is it's the Tessa is a part of myself that was like bullied relentlessly since I was a child. But like through it all, I'm still really nice to people and give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And like I did not foresee trans hate coming for this character because I was like, wow, this character is about being bullied. And like, man, she's getting bullied, but not for what I thought she was gonna get bullied for. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. Did you watch WrestleMania? I did not. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Oh, I did see the clip about The Undertaker, though. I did see that. That's fucking sick. Uh, I can't believe that they hate your beauty. I know, right? Don't they know what it is? It is a carnival thing. That's why I'm like, what are you doing? They're just like, oh my god, it's a man with a beard and a dress. Oh, and I'm just like, it's a woman in a dress with a beard. Oh. You look like a dummy mommy. Why, thank you. Hello, Dominic. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm missing things. I'm missing things. We can disagree on things, but no need for hate. Exactly. Also, you don't need to push it on. Like, you can have your own beliefs and stuff. Just don't push it on me. Like, you want to be Christian. Cool. Just don't try to make me be Christian. I'm doing great, Dominic. How are you? Vicky, I'm not sure if this posted or not, but I'm trying to make you cry. Wait, what? But three months ago, I had a situation that could have ended badly. I can't remember what video it was, but it literally saved my life. That is going to make me cry. I'm very glad, Spirit Wolf. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that my video helped you. You are going to make me cry. I'm very glad. I'm very happy that you're here. And I'm sure there's lots of other people who are very happy that you're here. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. And the thing that I hate the most about society is how they're quick to judge people without even analyzing the evidence and just automatically claim them guilty. Ah, uh, very true. This is our favorite character! Aw, this is very kind of beautiful. Agreed. People are quick to judge me and nitpick. I've been through so much. I do not... I do my neat to... My best to give the benefit of the doubt. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad that you have the money to put me down. Can you ask me a question? Sure, Dominic. What's up? Tessa! And nobody deserves to be bullied like Tessa. Tessa deserves... I know, right? She's so caring and supportive of everybody. Tessa's kind so Yeah, I think she doesn't deserve the hate. My issue is I tend to open my heart to the wrong... Ah. That does happen. I've done that before in the past, too. It's very hard. It is very hard. Um, it does take some time. I feel like to kind of discern that sometimes. But sometimes you will get burned. And just know that you don't have to give that person any more of your energy or time. Yeah. Vic and Tessa, Vicky and Tessa deserve so much love and support. Thank you. Oh, huggy saggies. I wonder what that that think when I put on my blue Miss Cupid stripe dress or when I did my TOS appropriate sexy Zelda cosplay. Wait, what? I wonder that thing when I put... Huh? I'm very confused. Sorry. Don't cry. Everything's okay. No. Oh, they. I wonder what they think. Ah, who cares? I've also gender bend cosplays before. <laughs> I, I, luckily, I haven't gotten any weirdness with that. We got your back. There you go. What they think. Gotcha. Speaking of that, it's so stupid that people same se the say same-sex relationship goes against the Bible and they're the first to die. It's, yeah, it is. I just, yeah. It is. Have you, ha uh, Vicky, have you ever seen Freddy? Yes, I have seen Freddy vs. Jason. I do like that movie. Even though it's kind of ridiculous. I really do. What's your favorite superhero? Ooh, our favorite fantasy monster. Oh, that's a good question. My favorite superhero uh, is Batman. I love Batman, um, but I would say that Harley Quinn and Deadpool and Wolverine are really high up there, um, for sure. Uh, I, I, I used to really like Iron Man when I was younger, too. I don't know. I kind of fell away from that. Um, favorite fantasy monster? I really love Creature from the Black Lagoon. Everyone always asks me, and I feel like they expect me to say Dracula, but Creature from the Black Lagoon. Definitely. Yeah. What's your favorite? When I was in court, this one person was so judgmental. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> good vibes. Yes, good vibes all around. What kind of makeup did you do on the ASMR Vampire Roleplay? Um, I do different kind of makeup for, like, everything. What, what do you mean? Which one? Your favorite superhero is Batman, same here? Nice. Batman's my favorite. Batman all the way. <laughs> 
I hope that you weren't offended by my question about how people view- No, not at all! But a girlfriend of mine says that ASMR opens the door to demons. I personally think you are not in that realm. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I wasn't offended at all. No, it was a good question to ask. Um, no crying! I tr I stopped myself from bawling. I hope Spirit Wolf's still here. Please don't cry. I- I know, but it-, it Your ribs hurt! But it was sad. Good answer to the hero question. Thank you! <laughs> ah, damn it, I'm thinking about it again. Batman! <laughs> Superman! Batman, one of my favorite heroes. Yeah, Batman! Hulk! I understand Batman, but identity... Oh, but identify with Joker because of my traumatic past. Uh, I think that's why I identify with Harley a lot, too. That's probably why. Yeah. The last boy's vampire makeup look. Oh! Um... Are you talking about the one for David when I put on the piece? That was my first time ever doing a prosthetic piece. Um, I have since found a, a better prosthetic, <laughs> prosthetic face piece um, that I would like to get and use in the future. That one just foam and I can't use liquid latex. I don't know how I could lay the edges in a safe way for my skin. Um, so it didn't look like that, but yeah. That was my all time favorite. Nice. Nice. I was raised in a very conservative family with Baptist preacher dad, but I started reading and studying the Bible myself rather than listen to what the preacher man says. The Bible says don't eat bacon. Guess what? I do. I eat bacon and I'm pan, but I did my own research. I am very proud of you for doing your own research and doing your own thinking. I think that is extremely important. Batman Returns was my favorite Batman movie back then. Haha, -ha, nice. The first one was my favorite with the Joker, with Jack Nicholson. I really enjoyed Joker 2019. Literally everything... Fleck went through, I went through my own version. I'm so sorry that you did. That's, that's rough. You found a better one. I did! I did find a better one. Actually, someone sent it to me. Or didn't, like, send it to me, like, physically. But, like, sent me a link. Because they were like, oh, I do SFX. Uh, your prosthetic looks a little rough. Uh, did you have a hard time? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I did. And they're like, oh, well, this thing could be better for you. And I was like, oh, thank you. I will order this at some point. Yes, yeah, so I did find one. Yes. Um, my favorite hero, Marvel heroes are Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, and Deadpool. Nice! I really liked Spider-Man, like the original, with Tobey Maguire, too, when that came out. My mom was diagnosed as a covert narcissist with bipolar disorder, and it took me years to finally cut her off and start setting boundaries for my physical and mental health. Good for you, because that is not easy, especially with a family member, especially with a parent, especially with a mother. Good for you. That's very hard. Oh wow, have you tried it yet? No, no, no. No, no, no. So, I don't... I don't have it. I don't physically have it. I have the link to buy it. Yeah, I don't have it. Michelle Pfeiffer was amazing as Catwoman. I agree with that. I do. Yes. Um, uh, wait, what, what? When I'm bleeding, will you help me f with the cut? Oh, sure. <laughs> the blonde vampire makeup look, that's the one. Ah, yes, yes, that's the one we're talking about. I thought your prosthetic for David was excellent. Thank you, I appreciate it. I don't think it was that bad. I thought it was pretty cool looking. <sighs> What's your favorite aesthetic personally? I'm black and dark aesthetics. Ah, my favorite. I have two sides to one coin, I would feel like. It's either beachy, surfy, surf, surf California chick, uh, hippie, or just goth and like lots of blacks and reds, black, blue. Like, it's either I like to be super all blacks and goth, um, or like super beachy. Yeah. Um, I can relate to Rogue from X-Men in that people avoid touching me. Oh no. <laughs> Do you like Black Panther? I kind of liked that movie. It wasn't really my thing. I, I didn't really like the story. But it was okay. Um, oh my Vicky! That's two dreams over! I know, right? Surprise stream! Hello! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, he sent you- No, 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 he didn't- Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, he didn't actually like send it to me. Like the product, he just sent me the link and was like, this is the one I use. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I can send it to you for sure. Mine is Michael Keaton. Mine is Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's my favorite Batman. Favorite vamp movie. Mine's a toss up between Blade and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Ah, nice. Mine is Lost Boys. Lost Boys all the way. All the way. Number one favorite. Um, but Interview with a Vampire, Blade, um, Underworld, those are all up there as well. I feel like I'm forgetting an important one. Oh, uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Um, I really like those. A lot. Michael Keaton, yeah. Michael Keaton's the best. Michael Keaton, then... Uh, Michael Keaton... 
I don't know if I like Christian Bale or Val Kilmer more. Yeah. And then... Oof, that's tough. Maybe George Clooney, then Ben Affleck? Or no, George Clooney, then Robert Pattinson, then Ben Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I don't think George Clooney was a good Batman, I liked the movie more than I did Ben Affleck or Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Yeah. Or as he said in Family Guy, Adam Wee! Oh, Adam West. I never really watched the older Batman. It wasn't really my thing. Um, Michael Keaton? Yes. He's my favorite. Don't forget Van Helsing. Oh, I do love Van Helsing. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm forgetting other vampire movies just because I know that I love them, but my brain's not thinking of them, if that makes sense. I have seen American Werewolf in London. So good. So good. Um, Van Helsing is the best werewolf in my opinion. Ooh, this is one of the best, for sure. Oh. oh it really is one of the best. I really love that werewolf. There's a couple others I really like. I can't think of them right now, though. What other werewolves do I really like? Um... I do like when they turn into wolves, but I actually prefer when they're like a werewolf-human hybrid. I actually do like the werewolves in Harry Potter. Or werewolf in Harry Potter. Oh, I haven't watched werewolves in movies in a, a while now that I'm thinking about it, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's been a minute. Yeah. Michael Caton is the only Batman agreed. I do love the Underworld series. And the West all the way. <laughs> my, ooh, oh, my back is cracked. Mine is Lost Boys Blade. Oh, from Dust Till Dawn. Thank you, from Dust Till Dawn. See what I'm saying? I'm forgetting all these vampire movies. I don't know why my brain is, like, not thinking about them. I don't watch it growing up. Yeah, older Batman is super goofy and not, like, in a fun way. To me, to me. I, I appreciate Adam West and I'll acknowledge him as like the first like on-screen Batman, but it's not my thing. Underworld Blade, Vampire in Brooklyn, and Van Helsing. Nice. Serious oh, seriously, serious question, Biggie. Are you doing all the things that you are supposed to be doing? Serious, serious question. Thank you for asking me. Yes. I am being good. I I am being very good. I'm working out, I'm stretching. I'm going to bed when I'm supposed to. I'm drinking all the liquids. I'm eating all the healthy foods with all the good vitamins and minerals and taking care of myself. And the only thing that I'm not doing so great with is stress right now. But I'm trying to keep that down. Trying to keep that down. But I'm doing better than I... It's not like my worst dealing with stress. But thank you for asking me. I appreciate it. And Van Helsing, that movie is pretty cool. Heath Ledger is my favorite Joker. Ah, then Jack Nicholson and Mark Hamill. Uh, Jack Nicholson's my favorite. And then Heath Ledger. Then Mark Hamill. I also love, oh my god, I can't remember his name, but it was on the TV show. Yeah. Um, the Gotham TV show. He did an amazing job. I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, sorry. I missed so much stuff on YouTube. So sorry. Oh no. <sighs> Tell Silk the next time she goes to Starbucks and orders cappuccino, ask for decaf. She, she is so jittery. <laughs> and she will not listen to me. <laughs> Speaking of vampire, have you seen Bram Stoker's Dracula? I have with Gary Oldman. Yes. It is a masterpiece. I do love that movie. It's really good. Kevin Conroy will always be the Batman. Oh, I do love his voice as Batman, though. I love the Batman animated series. What about Daybreakers? I'm not a fan of that movie. Or 40 Days of Night. Um, have you ever seen Snoop Dogg's movie Bones? I have not. No. Um, the Twilight Trilogy. Oh. Twilight's okay. <laughs> The one with Adam West is not my thing. Yeah, agreed. Van Helsing definitely have the best looking. They, the werewolves in Van Helsing are just so good. There was a recap from Horror Recap, I think. Then the bad guy, main character, has the same name as me. Ah, oh, that's cool! That's awesome! My favorite Batman is Christian Bale. Nice. Ben Affleck was good too. Nice. Have you seen the older ones? The older ones are so good. Yeah. Uh huh, same here. But I'm also a huge fan of Kafka. From Final Fantasy VI, who is the Joker of Final Fantasy. I've cosplayed him, but I gotta learn how to do better makeup work. Ooh, okay, cool. We gotta keep working on the stress level. I know. I'm trying. I really am trying. I have to go. Okay, bye, Ira. Please take care. Please take care. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the biddies. I really appreciate the support so much. It really, really does help out. It really, really does. Sorry, excuse me. And I can't wait to get talking about ooh stuff. The Office of Hell. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the Castlevania series. Ah, oh, I don't. <laughs> I was not a fan. I really like some of the characters, though. And some of the... I like the style. I just don't like it. Have an amazing weekend. Yeah! Games and anime. 
Batman anime series was so good, agreed. You mean 30, is it 30 days of night? Yeah, I don't like that. Love that movie. My favorite cartoon of all time is, I really do like the Batman animated series. It's so good. Uh, Scooby-Doo would be my favorite though. Want me to send you the link to the re- Yes, sure, put it in the, put it in the Discord. Put it in the Discord. Hello, Scorpion, how are you? Welcome, welcome. To me, Twilight is too much sparkle. Yeah, I mean, I, f I liked the book series. I'm not really a fan of the movies, but I will watch them and kind of ironically enjoy them sometimes. <laughs> Uh, the Adam West Batman is pretty cheesy, but Adam West is so funny. A lot of people really do love Adam West. Hello, Jamie! How are you? Welcome, welcome! Yes. Uh, Cameron uh, Monaghan. Thank you very much, Brandon. I appreciate that. He's the one from Gotham. He did an amazing job as a Joker. He was a good Joker. Twilight was by far the worst vampire series that I've ever seen. Uh, oh, Lost Boys 2 did suck. It was so bad. The Discord? I was thinking about the chat here. Uh, yeah, put it in the Discord. Put it in the Discord because I will see. Then I won't lose it, and I'll see it later. I mean, I guess you could comment it on this the video itself if you'd like to. That could work. Thirty days of night was kind of fun, you know. Uh, the insane amount of blood that I enjoyed, but in mm, right. the '90s X Men cartoon was my jam. Ah, yeah, the new '90s stuff or like '90s uh, X Men '97 or is it '87? Wait, yeah, that just came out. Has anyone seen that? Is it good? I haven't watched it yet. I like the 2008 Batman series. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh! I read. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much! I don't know why it's not uh, updating, but oh my god, thank you! Thank you! Holy shit! Thank you so much for so many bitties! And oh my god, you have now you have the 700k bits badge. Oh my god, no one tell Aubrey Mamas. She's releasing a photo- uh, no, exactly. Nobody tell Aubrey's mama. Exactly. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate that so much. Holy shit. That is so many biddies. Oh my god. 10,000 biddies? Oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, it helps so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ira. Ah! Thank you! And so much! Yes, hype in the chat for Ira, please. Thank you so much for all the biddies today. So many biddies. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate you. And yeah, the whole thing with Aubrey doing the photo set is exactly what you just said. It's very like, don't tell her mama that she like did this thing, but she's like breaking out of her shell. Very much. Very much like that. Cupid, thank you for the, the Cupid biddies. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Please have a good night. You have a good night too. Please, Ira. Please have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Just pulled my cosplays in Discord. Cool. Yay. Thank you. Mr. J, thank you for the biddies. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? So many biddies. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hype train! Hype train! Mr. J, thank you for redeeming my precious. I'll do that in a second. Breaking out of her shell, huh? Yes. Hee hee hee. Bye, Vicky. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, make sure email me out. You mail you back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please take care. I really appreciate it. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, thank you. I know I missed some chatty things. I so sorry. I so sorry. <laughs> I think that Jared Little played the best. Yeah, I he is my least favorite Joker of all time. I also love Vicky so much. She's my dream. Oh, thank you. Have you seen Let the Right One In? She's like my dream fan. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let the Let the Right One In or the American remake Let Me In? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. I'm still in love with Aubrey. I'm gonna stand on tell Aubrey's mama exactly. Thirty Days of Night is sort of reminded me of yeah. It was kind of like a zombie movie. That's probably why I didn't like it. Want me to comment in on... Sure, you can comment on one of the videos, either in the Discord or comment on one of the videos. That's the best way I will see it. Thank you for the hydrate. I have... I have watermelon juice for hydration. It's really good hydration. I, I don't have another water bottle here. Ugh. I've been talking so much, my mouth actually is super dry. And I need to drink this. <laughs> they vampire movies. Wait, what, what? They are? Oh no, I have never seen them. Are they good? Darklings vs. Zombies! I have a film called The Lost Boys 2 The Tribe. I have that too. <laughs> it's just not good. 
I'm gonna cut one of your YouTube videos. I don't have Discord. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. Spoiler alert, the Darkling wins! Yes. Okay. Make you win! Oh my god, those are so cute little bouncy things. I saw the American remake. Let me in. I don't yeah, I don't think I saw that. Uh Fright Night. Fright Night has never been something that I can get into. Wait, hold on. I gotta do my precious. I we got all the biddies. I'm sorry, I don't know who redeemed my precious. Did it go away? I saw it. There it is. Mr. J. Mr. J, thank you for redeeming my precious. The harvests. The harvests. The preciouses. Yes, but where are they? I'm not sure. I can't figure it out. You must get some. Get the stupid harvests. The harvests. The preciouses. We must get this from them. But, but they're next to us and they feed us the food. No, they ruins it. Ruins it. Where's Tudor's precious? Where's the Tudor's? We must get the preciouses. They take it. They take it. Golem. Golem. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming that. It was me! Yes, it was you! <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a werewolf. I'm a werewolf! Oh, Dominic, you're a werewolf? Awesome. Welcome. We have other werewolves here as well. Shmeagol's voice is too adorable. Thank you. <laughs> it's a Moogle! They're from Final Fantasy! Oh my god, you're right! I just learned what Moogles are! I just learned what Moogles are. Like, a couple weeks ago. And they're adorable. Because I don't play Final Fantasy. Oh my god, more Moogles! <laughs> Moogles are so freaking cute! So, um, my boyfriend and I, he's a chocobo, and I'm a Moogle! <laughs> we were talking about it the other day. You have two Moogle plushies, that's awesome. Pretty much anything cute and like a plush, I just love. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are adorkable. Uwu Gollum! Yes. Uwu Gollum, agreed. Alright. We need to finish these questions. Oh my god, there's so many questions. Okay. <laughs> How did you- Oh wait, we read that. Yay! <laughs> How did family and friends react to your vampirism? Um... Initially, not great. <laughs> uh... My family didn't like it and was like scared by it and thought I was weird. And didn't know why I was in like dark stuff. Um, it got better over time. Uh, my friends were fine with it though like my friends when I was younger like my nerdy friends as I got older I didn't really do a lot of stuff with it or anything so it wasn't really a factor with friends and then we started doing online content creation and then uh, I definitely lost friends that were just like oh this is fucking weird <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore um, but I gained way more friends than I lost which is way better and I'm myself so it's way better Yes. I'm trying! I'm trying success! We received a little guitar guy Eva. Oh my god, yes. Thank you so much for the heart I'm trying. Thank you for the heart trying, Darklings. <laughs> Your friends want you to cosplay a Moogle? Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Moogle! Do it. <laughs> okay, I'll sit and be quiet. No, no, no! Do it! We made a hype train. It's okay if you call if I comment on one of your YouTube videos. I just don't. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did I read that? I did say yes. Yeah, go for it. Do it. Go for it. Do 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 it. Have you ever seen 1972's Vampire Circus? No. It was a circus ran by vampires. The movie made me think about your. Ooh. I I'm gonna pull up a little tab to look up what that is too. 1972. Wait, is it called Vampire Circus? That sounds cool. That's a British horror film. Ooh. All right, thank you. I'm gonna have to look at that. Oh no! I closed the music. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Come back here, music. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. There we are. <laughs> I closed the music. Oh my god, all right. Uh, so that was a good question. What are some things you've learned being a streamer? Oh, that is a good question. Um, to not be so hard on myself and be so nervous. I know when I first started streaming I would freak out, like, trying to be in front of the camera because I felt like I had to be so perfect or had to be, like, a certain way and, like, didn't want to make any mistakes or, like, do anything weird or whatever. That took, I feel like, some time to get used to. So I feel like that's one of the biggest things I've learned as a streamer. Also, don't create content for other people, and this is just goes across all of everything. Create the content you want to create, because if you don't, that's how you get burned out really fast. Like, when I was doing the licking ASMR streams, oh my god. 
I wanted to die. It just, for my brain, it was just too boring. So doing those like non-stop, a bunch of them, was just too much for me. Doing them every once in a while is fine, but it was just too much doing it like consistently. Oh no, I love the music! I'm a graphic designer and at one of my jobs we would all dress up for Halloween at work. My buddy and I dressed as Bojack Horseman and Todd Chavez. Who's Bojack? I was Todd. Nice! I, I know what Bojack Horseman is, so that's cool. Oh no, the music! 90% of us were nerdy artists. Yes, I actually went to school for graphic design. Um, I have an associate in graphic design and um, fine art. I did not um, go for the bachelor's. It's this whole long thing. Because I was going to switch majors and then ended up doing other stuff. So And then COVID happened. So, uh, Bye, Dominic. Bye. Take care. Thank you so much. I will check out the link. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you bought one, but for Lost Boys series, you could have an uh, Iconico gun, a, a Python revolver, or a Desert Eagle? Really? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Robo Vampire is a movie that exists. Huh. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Vicky, is it true that all the kids are afraid of you coming for them one night? Maybe. I don't talk to kids. I don't like them. So, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> thump thump da! Thump thump da! What are we thump thump da? What is that? Okay, well, I got to go. Okay, I'm leaving for work and driving. Have a good rest of your stream. I can't wait to see your next. Ah, thank you so much. We're well, looking forward to your response in Discord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. J. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the biddies. I hope you have a great day at work. Thank you for joining us. I'm so glad that you were finally able to come here. And I will be streaming next Tuesday, by the way, Darklings. Um, and we'll be doing the playing more of the DDLC. And supposedly, we're supposed to be getting really close to the crazy stuff. So, yeah. Bye, thank you. What made you want to start using TikTok and YouTube and Twitch to do your videos and stream? Um, that's a good question. I was already using all of those things except for Twitch. Uh, cause I was a fitness, an online fitness trainer, personality, like content creator for fitness. Cause I was a, I am a certified personal trainer. So I was already using all those things, but it wasn't really working out the way I wanted it to, and I ran into a lot of health issues, so I couldn't compete anymore in like bodybuilding competitions. I couldn't work out the way I wanted to, I couldn't look the way I wanted to, and it, it really wasn't what I wanted to do, like full time anymore. So right when COVID happened, I decided to make the switch and start doing cosplay and acting and stuff, and then like I kind of fell into ASMR, I just tried it, and I was like, oh. I really like this. And then just kind of went from there. Yeah. Oh. I started community college, um, at community college and transferred to Radford University. I did computer science, but I realized I didn't like programming. So I switched to media studies and majored in front, uh, yeah, front end web design, which also taught me graphic design. And I love it. That's awesome. I'm so glad you found something that you like. That's good. Music that disappeared. It did. It did disappear. College was my way to escape the area I grew up in. Ah, well, good for you. I know that, that can be really hard. Good for you. Hey, Vicky. Hello, Gino. Gino, how are you? I'm going to leave. Can you flex your biceps for me before I go? Hello, hello, and sure. Hua. Hua. Is this what we want? We want the muscle mommy? Hua. I have to, like, flare my lats out for you. <laughs> bye bye. Take care. Did you know the Keeper Sutherland's brother named Angus got killed from the first Lost Boys? Did he really? No, I don't think I knew that. That's crazy. That's awesome. Like, terribly. Not awesome. Awesome that I learned something new about my favorite movie. Not awesome that he got killed. No, no, no. That is very upsetting. I mean, my brain is like, oh, something I didn't know about my favorite movie that I thought I like knew all the things about. Um, I think it's awesome when I learn new stuff. I don't want for to sound weird. <laughs> oh my god. College was, uh, oh, I also met Mrs. Cupid at RU. Ah, she was my resident director. Cool. Ah, thank you for redeeming chandelier. She's a counselor. Nice. Thank you, Scorpion. You want to see my chandeliers? I have so many chandeliers. I have a chandelier in every single room. They're all shining and sparkling. I even have them in tubs. Tubs and tubs and tubs. Under my bed. All tucked away. I love chandeliers. I love chandeliers so much. I will have chandeliers for the rest of my existence. You want to see my chandeliers? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guess what? Keeper's brother is the lead vampire and he's stronger. Really? I didn't know that. That's super interesting. 
<laughs> Thank you, Brandon, for redeeming oatmeal. She, I love it. She also introduced me to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ah, nice. Very good. Very good. Oatmeal time. Hold on. I need the doorbell. Where's the doorbell? And then we still have some more questions to get to. <laughs> I'm supposed to be leaving. Where are you? I didn't have it open. I forgot to open it. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Here we are. Is that the doorbell? No! It's oatmeal! Oatmeal filled with protein and fruits and nuts. Because you know you gotta add a couple nuts in there. I'm nuts! I was nuts once. They left me in a padded room with white padded walls. I love to bounce off those white padded walls. Wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> Did you guys used to say that poem? I don't know why it popped into my head. Or like, I don't know what you call it a poem. What do we call it? I forgot what it's called. It's a stupid thing we used to say. <laughs> Love the hair. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jonathan. If bees got loose on the moon, would we have a honeymoon? <gasps> Maybe. I love it. Thanks, Brennan. If they decide to make a vampire movie next year, Vicky, <gasps> I would love to star in it. Yes, please. Cast me now. <laughs> okay, I'll sit down and be quiet. No, you're fine. I need that meal because I'm nuts myself. Yes, it's perfect. When you and your boyfriend are when you and your boyfriend are getting married, well, we're not engaged, um, but we do plan to spend the rest of our lives together. We do not feel that a marriage changes things or changes how you are um, <clears throat> committed to your partner and committed to being with your partner. If you are in a monogamous relationship and you choose to be monogamous and you agree to be monogamous, I don't. We don't feel that like marriage changes that. Um, so. It will happen at some point, but like we're not in any rush and I don't know when. The first thing is we're saving for a home. That's what we're doing right now. So yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, out of the Mickelsons, Klaus, Elijah, Cole, Finn, Rebecca, and Michael, who would you want to be hired to and why? Oh god. Uh, great question. I guess Elijah, because he's the only one I don't hate. I hate them all. They annoy the absolute ever-loving shit out of me, except for Elijah. So we're gonna pick Elijah, but I haven't watched that much of the show um, with them in it. I watched like the beginning of the series. I never watched the originals or legacies or anything, so I Elijah could be the wrong choice, but he's the only one I like. In which ways has being an artist influenced your content? <laughs> a lot. That's a great question. All of my art, I feel like, is in everything. The looks I create, the outfits, the colors, my makeup, um, the backgrounds I do, how I do my editing. I feel like my art influences everything and is what gives me the ability to be able to do everything that I do. Definitely. Proudest career moment so far? Oh my god, that is a great question. Oh. You're off to bed. Okay, love you so much. Poo, please take care of Spirit Wolf. I really am glad that you're still here and I'm glad that I could help. Please take care, okay? And get some good rest. Sorry, I haven't been talking in the past few minutes. It's just been quiet in my brain, no giving you words to speak. That's okay, I know. I know why you like Elijah, because he never breaks his promise and he always keeps his word. It's true. He's like the only nice one. He's the only one that's like redeemable as a character and is nice and not a complete conniving person asshole <laughs> do you watch anime i do i watch a lot of anime i love anime i love anime pineapple pizza juice hello welcome my darkling how are you how does career moment so far oh what a good question i don't know hmm oh i feel like it would be a lot of personal self-growth I feel like my acting has gotten significantly better because like I'll watch the, my older videos and be like, wow, like, <laughs> I've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better, better, better at storytelling and my looks, at cosplays. I guess doing like certain um, cosplays that I've really wanted to do, like Peppermiss, um, oh, there's been a couple others. 
I guess also just reaching more darklings. Like I feel like also like executing plans I really, really wanted to do and then was able to do and like finish. I think that would be my proudest moment so far. That was a really good question. I did watch Chainsaw Man, but only up until the point about the one demon that ate the cat because I, uh, I have a problem with body horror, like a significant huge issue with body horror. And Chainsaw Man was a really cool concept and I really liked it and I just couldn't keep watching it. I have seen Spy X Family. I have not seen all the new episodes though, but I really do like Spy X Family. Yes. Ah, Pick the Perfect Vampire. Thank you. He is the nicest. I started watching Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is really good. Other nice, my buddy recommended it to me. It's very good. Great vampire pick. Thank you. Klaus is just evil and also bad. Agreed. And Rebecca is, well, she's a Regina George vibe. Yeah. And Mean Girl vamp gal. She's kind of hot, though. I do think a lot of people think she's really hot. But yeah, I don't like her, her character or attitude. I really hate her. <laughs> if you had any advice to give your past self, what would you say? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I could sit here all day. I could sit here all goddamn day with the advice I would give my past self. I think the biggest thing I would like tell myself is to just love myself and be myself and not care what other people say or being judged. That that the I worried about so many tiny little things in high school and college, like the smallest, stupidest stuff. So much wasted time and energy. I would definitely tell myself that. Um, yeah, that would be the best advice I would give myself. Yeah. And to save more money. Save more money. Definitely. <laughs> Vicky's so fetch. Oh, I thank you. And Rebecca is not. Vicky's the winner. Thank you. <laughs> you lose your ASMR, your forager roleplay. Maybe at some point. I do have your forager cosplay. Um, I probably will do content at some point. I just don't have it planned right now. I have so many other stuff planned. They just filmed The Lost Boys 3 of the Thirst. I am interested to see what that is. I hope that it's good. Also, they're supposed to be opening up Lost Boys on Broadway, which could be really cool. Thank you, the Vampire Champion! Why, thank you. I enjoyed the live stream today, but I have to go. Okay, I will see you next week. Sounds good. Please take care, Lloyd. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you next week. Thank you, thank you. What was your first ever anime movie? Oh, and program you have watched. First ever program and movie would be Pokemon. <laughs> I am a millennial. Hello, Patrick. How are you? Good evening. Um, so the first one I ever watched was, well, we called it Pokemon back then, but it's Pokemon. It would be the Pokemon show and the movie. The one, the really sad one where Pikachu dies, but then he doesn't die. <laughs> or does Ash die? And then Pikachu cries on Ash and then he comes back to life? I don't remember. I haven't watched in a long time. It's the one with Mew. It's the one with Mew and Mewtwo. So that would be the very first movie and program I ever watched. Who is the first person to say I love you? Oh, in your relationship with Joker. That is a great question. Um, actually, it was me. But the funny thing was, so I told him we were sitting on the couch uh, for Thanksgiving. And I told him that I loved him. And he, he instantly told me that he loved me back. And then I told, and then I told him, it was an amazing moment. I told him that I had been holding back saying I love you for a long time. I didn't know quite when the right moment was gonna be, and then I just kind of like said it. And he told me that he had been holding back telling me that he loved me for a long time or like a while. So it was me, but um, yeah, <laughs> we both felt it way before I said it. Yes, who cares what people think I used to worry about? Exactly, because my parents worry so much, yeah. I got bullied. Um, but yeah, exactly, you turned out to be who you are, which is good. That was Ash. Yeah, okay, it was Ash that died. That's right, it was just very sad. Yeah, I got bullied so much that I just cared too much about things. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you watched Helsing? It's pretty violent, but cool. I watched Van Helsing. I don't know if I just watched just Helsing. Is it a show or a movie? Which is your favorite Michael Jackson album? Oof. I'm terrible at albums. I love Michael Jackson music. I can tell you like my favorite songs. I love um, I love Thriller. I love Black and White. I love Man in the Mirror. I love um, uh, Remember the Time. 
Um. Oh, what's this? Uh, I like Billie Jean. Uh, I like Bad. Um. Uh, I like the Annie Are You Okay song. I can't remember the name of the song all of a sudden now. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Can you tell us that you're okay? I don't remember the name of the song, but yeah, I love Michael Jackson. I don't have a favorite album, though. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm asked, uh, hey, is it Hanya? Hanya? Hello, good evening, and thank you for the biddies! I'm so sorry, our, um, our alerts aren't working. Our alert box isn't working. Smooth Criminal, thank you, Darklings, that's it. Um, but thank you so much for the biddies, thank you, thank you. It, it's been working for subs, but it won't work for bits. I don't know why, but thank you so, 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 so much for the, the 300 bits. I appreciate you. And welcome, welcome. Uh, Thriller is your favorite album. Nice. Joker is the luckiest man. Aw. We jam to MJ in college all the time. Nice. Can I do... I can't do a backflip. I used to be able to do a back bend into a backflip, but that was when I was a lot younger. So it's criminal. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's Hanya. Yes, Hanya. Unmask Hanya. Welcome, my darkling. How are you? Joker and Vicky Quinn forever. Yes. Yeah, the song is Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal. It's an anime series. Oh, housing the, uh, oh, the anime series. No. I tried watching that recently, and it's just not, like, rewatch it, like, trying to watch it again recently, and it's just not my thing. Maybe the real Pokemon were the friends we made along the way. Agreed. Is that a wig? It is a wig. It is a wig. It is a wig. Yes. <laughs> You have the luckiest man alive. No, thank you. I'm I'm the luckiest vampire alive. Joker is absolutely amazing. He's so amazing. What are the favorite cosplays and characters you've done? Ooh, good question. Silk. <laughs> um, Silk is my favorite character of all time that I've ever created or done for sure. Um, I also really enjoy doing Cecilia. Uh, I really love doing Lady Dimitrescu, Harley Quinn, Lele is a lot of fun. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of everything I've done. The Titanic series was so much fun. Um, yeah. I know there's other ones I can't think right now. I like doing Elvira, that's a lot of fun. Um, some other stuff coming up I'm really, really gonna love doing too. I like doing the Lost Boys stuff. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm well. Good! I'm so glad! I'm Ms. Kanya. I'm so glad. I'm good too. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. You and Jack are the luckiest couples. Ah, thank you! That's cool. Thank you! Games tune. I appreciate it. <laughs> and Joker has the luckiest girl alive! Yes, you deserve the absolute best. Thank you. Joker, Vicky Quinn, the Lords of Empires. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can you do an ASMR Michael Jackson Thriller video? Maybe in the future, yeah. You playing Michael Jackson and Ola Ray, both characters. Ah, oh, you know, that could be really fun, actually, now that you're saying that. Hell yeah. At some point, I would love to. For sure. Um, I think Silk is ticklish, but Dark Silk certainly- I would agree with this 100%. <laughs> I think Dark Silk would break your fingers off. <laughs> would you have one of your characters being in your spin-off movie for your ASMR video if you plan to make a movie in the future? Ooh! Sure. Sure. You know, this is something I've been toying with, is actually doing a series that is not ASMR. But I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. When you started, did you believe you'd be- No! <laughs> no! I- this is way better than I could have ever imagined. Uh, I love where I'm at. This is fantastic. I love what I do. That was a great question. <laughs> Cecilia is a, a bit toxic but cool. Hehehe. <laughs> yes. She's a, little, she's a little bit murdery. <laughs> the Pokemon creator has autism and the show has taught me a few things lately. My son has autism and he is pretty much nonverbal, but in Pokemon trainers and Pokemon had to learn how to communicate without words and it taught me sometimes I have to be more patient because I don't need words to communicate. That has to be really rough. I'm glad that you were able to take that away from that and that you are able to still communicate with your son even without words. That has to be really hard. My birthday is in five months. Haha! -ha, cool! Um, if you have a Jeep as your vehicle, would you create your very own Jurassic Park Jeep? Yes, I would! Yeah! Yes! As the dream! <laughs> I want it so bad! I want it so bad. I want it so bad. Yes. 
Was there any point you thought about quitting? What made you continue? Ah, oh, yes. Um, yes. I've had a couple points, actually, where I've thought about quitting, to be honest. Thank you for the hydrate. I need it, Rafa. I had a couple points where I thought about quitting. Um, just because I thought what I was doing wasn't, like going to succeed or wasn't working and I'm like what am I doing <laughs> like what am I doing what made me continue was the fact that this is like what I want to do and that I'm creating what I want to create and I have all this love and support from my friends and family and from the darklings and I was like no I I what I'm doing is working people do like my content <laughs> I'm not just creating to nobody like, I, I'm not that much of a failure, I promise. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I continue. I have watched Power Rangers. I used to watch Power Rangers a lot when I was a kid. Here's an idea. That the what would you do for a Klondike bar mixed with Saw? That would be insane. <laughs> that would be insane. That would be insane. On behalf of all of us, thank you for not quitting. Oh, thank you for the hug. You're not a failure at all. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate you guys so much. I look cool in that teeth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I I didn't quit. I'm still here. I did not quit. Um, and I'm really glad that I did it. I really am. Yeah. I feel like I get, I'm harder on myself than anybody ever. Um, it gets really hard sometimes because it's like, well, should I continue? Also, there was a dip in money. And then I had the surgery last year and it, like a dip in income, like a significant dip in income. And I'm like, man, I don't know how I'm going to like make ends meet. I'm not going to buy food. <laughs> like, mmm. So it makes you want to, it makes you want to quit and give up. I am not a quitter. That's the other thing too. I am not a quitter. <laughs> I never have been. I am not a quitter. <laughs> we are all our own worst criti critics. I definitely am. And I really do try to remember to be nicer to myself. Would you plan to create an underworld? Yes. ASMR content in the future if you plan to um, cosplay Sling from the movie. Yes. 100%. You guys know I have the Sling cosplay. Even though it doesn't really fit the way I want it to. And now it's actually probably going to be a lot bigger on me than it was before. I do want to do Sling content for sure. I love Sling. When did you start making strides on YouTube? Oof. Good question. And actually kind of fast. Once I stopped doing other content on... YouTube because I was kind of playing around trying different stuff. I was doing like try on videos and like talking videos. As soon as I committed to doing just like ASMR, that's when I started making huge strides. Who or what has inspired you the most? Ooh, that's a good question. Sorry, I'm so congested. <clears throat> Vicky, you're, uh, you are a fighter. Oh, thank you. And a baddie for life. Thank you. I appreciate it. Which Power Rangers show have you ever watched? Oh, 90s ones. I watched so many different ones, I don't know all of them, but I know that I watched the dinosaur ones, I watched the newer dinosaur ones, I watched... I don't even know. Some other ones. I'm not even sure, to be honest. It was when I was a kid. Uh, Vicky is our winner! Oh, thank you. Team Vicky Forever, our champion. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Um, let's see. Who or what has inspired you most? That is a good question. I feel like... Um, by by inspiration, what do you mean? Because there's different types of inspiration. I feel like if we're talking about like my content, all of the content that I've consumed is what inspires me. I really love Quentin Tarantino, American Horror Story um, type style stuff, Lost Boys, a shit ton of 80s movies, a shit ton of 80s movies. I love the 80s. Um, that's what's inspired my content wise, I would feel like. Um, which is all the stuff I grew up on. Um, if we're talking about, like, people, it would, like, definitely be, like, my mom and Joker. They're what keeps me going and inspired me to keep doing things and keep doing what I, like, like, keep working on the projects that I'm working on. Um, for sure. What are your tickler spots? Not gonna tell you that! <laughs> do you like Blade movies? I do! Do you ever cosplay? I haven't, we did talk about this, I haven't cosplayed Blade, but I want to really badly. What is the best way to charm Pepper Miss? <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, yes, Mighty Dwarf and Power Rangers, Dino Fury, Dino Thunder. Yeah, I think those are the three that I watched for sure. 
Vicky's the fighter champion! Thank you. Fighter champion forever! You guys are so sweet. We stand our queen, Vicky! Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Do you do ASMR roleplay video to Chainsaw Man? I haven't. Like I said, I did watch some of it. So, like, if you got... Maybe at some point I could do, like, a power... Um cosplay and do like ASMR for their power or Makima. I could see doing that for sure. Even though I don't fully watch the series. Like I don't like Castlevania, the series, <clears throat> but I definitely want to cosplay Carmilla and Lenore. So I've cosplayed characters from things before, even if I haven't watched everything. She'll get back and kick some ass. Yes. I definitely need some allergy medicine right now. Allergy supplements. <clears throat> what is the best way to charm Peppermiss? Yeah. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> she is not like Dark Silk where you can like kind of get on her good side. Peppermiss has no good side. She is just evil incarnate. <laughs> um, can I beg my way out of being killed by Peppermiss? No. <laughs> if you can guess who this is, I have one question. When we get new merch, damn it! Neo! <laughs> Neo! <laughs> Oh my god, alright. I was just thinking about merch uh, this morning as I was eating breakfast. I want to do merch really bad. We just have so many other things going on right now. Tis me! <laughs> I don't know what to do about merch. I don't know if that's something that I need to just create like 10 things and then release all 10. Or if I create one, then I release one, create another, release that. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. I feel like I would need to create, like, a bunch of stuff and release it all at once type thing. I feel like doing it slow it just wouldn't work well. And the problem is I just haven't had time. I'm really throwing myself into doing customs. Because um, I have so many customs now, which is amazing, but I really want to get them done. And throwing myself into YouTube. Um... That's what I really decided to focus myself on uh, this year is just creating the series and the content that I really, really want to for you guys. Um, we will get merch eventually because there's so much I really want to do for merch. I just don't know when that's going to happen. Tis me! I knew it! <laughs> it is also, it is, it's very time consuming. That's the problem. It's not a fast thing. Um... But it will happen. I promise it'll happen. The movie that I had on DVD is The Monster Squad 20th Anniversary. Ah, Dracula is a vampire from Gentleman and he's going to California to find a person. That's interesting. That sounds fun. Um, any up and up and up and update about your vacation plans for the summer? Oh, that I do actually have up and up and up update on that. Pepper Miss is so evil. She is. She's just pure evil. I want to cosplay Alucard. Nice. And Soma Cruz. Do it. Do it. Uh, are you sure you ain't gonna tell us your ticklish spots? Nope. I met the original Blue Ranger. Oh, that's awesome. David Yost at a con. He is my favorite ranger. That's awesome. That's so good. It is because I say, damn it, a lot. <laughs> I shouldn't have made it not so obvious. You're so funny. Hello there. How are you, Floyd? I am great. Thank you, thank you. How are you? How are you? Um, for vacation plans for the summer, um, as I said, Joker and I are saving up for a home. Um, that's what all our money is going to. I think we want to do maybe just like some weekend couple, like getaway type thing, a couple weekend getaways. Um, for like hiking and like outdoor stuff. Uh, but as of right now, there's no big vacation planned just because vacations and traveling now, it was already was expensive, but it's just gone through the roof. And my food, because you guys know I can only eat organic and non-GMO because of my allergies. My groceries are like 200 to $250 a week, which is like ridiculous. And it may even be worse than that because I like don't even want to do the math anymore on how bad it is. <laughs> and this is like basic food. I'm not like getting anything extravagant or fun. So as of right now, no big summer vacations um, for this year. Home first. Home first. Home, 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 home. <laughs> uh, I have the wig for Soma. Nice! Her name is Vicky and she dances on the sand! Yes! <laughs> I tickles Vicky's tummy. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I do have a serious question. How can you detect so well the personality of people? Oh, that's a good question. My hair smells good. Well, why, thank you. I appreciate that. Tired and worn out from a long, long day at work. Oh, Floyd, I feel you. I feel you. I'm actually going to be ending stream here soon. I'm also very tired. 
and extremely congested from, I think, the makeup? I'm not sure what's causing this, but yeah. No touchy Vicky's tummy! Um, Overlord, it comes down to a couple things. So it's, it's, I would say it's three things. One, I am psychic. So I'm able to read people really well and get feelings about them. Two, I have autism, which also makes me be able to read people really, really well. I am odd, bleh, ADHD. So I have autism and ADHD um, on top of PTSD and complex PTSD and anxiety and depression. So fantastic. Um, and then the third thing is um, trauma trauma response. I think from trauma in my childhood, I just got really good at being able to read people. So it would be those three things. <clears throat> Sorry about what you have to pay for food. I know though. Oh, you're worth it. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I need to be fed. I need to eat the food. <laughs> and the Monster Squad Dracula picks up a little girl and calls her the B word. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> what your mouth smell? Wait, what? What is happening? <laughs> Um, I took all Vicky's feet, so now you don't! <laughs> I am psychic. I actually, I am legit psychic. I, I know that there might be people that are like, sure, sure you're psychic. But I am. All right, Darklings. All right. Yes, that's why there's Psy in my name. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. I'm glad you understand. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Doo, doo, doo. But yeah, what are you guys doing this weekend, by the way? Best vampire ever. Anthony, hello, how are you? And thank you so much. You two suffer from the ADHD and autism, which sucks. It does, but I feel like it also has given me some advantages. Um, so... I can't say that I hate it. It has, it does make some things hard and it has made things hard in my life, but I do feel like it's given me some advantages. So I, I, I like who I am as a person. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. I gotta hop off. Okay, take care. Bye. Thank you for being here, Brandon. I appreciate it. Bye, bye, bye. And I was tested as a kid, but most, oh, yeah, a lot of kids are either misdiagnosed or not diagnosed. It's very true. Anxiety, depression, undiagnosed autism. Yeah. Yep. Same. Runs in my family, too. Yep, yep. And, um, ADHD is, just, like, bad, barely understand what comes out. No, oh, it happens. It happens. And that's okay. You have to be more loving to yourself. We're going to Carowinds for an event with the great organizer, organization, a kid, again. I've never heard of this, but that sounds cool. Good for you. Bye, Brandon. Please take care. All right, Darklings, I am going to leave you here. I'm so glad we were able to finally get through all the questions. Thank you for joining me for stream and asking all the other questions while we're on stream. I love you all so, so much. Please drink lots and lots of water, eat lots of healthy foods, get up and move around and work out if you haven't already, and exercise. Please get a good night's sleep and don't be so hard on yourselves, all right? I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for everything. You got to go to have a good day at work. Bye, Rover. Going to watch horse race. Nice. Enjoy. I hope you all have an amazing weekend and please take care. And thank you so much for all the biddies and subs. Oh my God, I can't believe we had so much. And for understanding and asking all these great questions and being so respectful and awesome. I love you all and thank you so much for all the support. You guys are what keeps me going and makes it possible so that I can cre keep creating content for all of you. All right. Bye. I love you all. You're welcome for the stream, thank you.